unlock battle scars. What else do I have? Passive skill unlock perfectionist. I think we were taking a look at perfectionist, but. I'm not feeling it's too entirely necessary right now. Boy, did these guys take a fucking while to burn down, though, huh? Yeah. Dark place had been destroyed along with its ruler. Thanks for the flavor text, bra. Ration. Marked for de Ooh. What do we got? Launch a volley of guided arrows that rain down on enemies. So they're guided now. I like that. Yo, I like that. Looks like that came just in time for the bass. Let's try it out right here on these guys. Oh yeah, it chooses a specific spot. Which maximizes damage. I like it. I like that. Alright, let's head to town, grab some new gear, and then go kill a boss. With our anger! Yes, I know I have mail in the mailbox. It's from a buddy who plays hardcore as well. I'm not going to use it because... This is... Wait a minute. Why do I have Leoric's crown without a damn... ruby in it to incre increase my... experience. Oh, because I don't have any on me. I have to pull it out of here. Okay, so, if you look at the ruby, the stats it gives you, or the bonuses it gives you based on what item, or what item it's socketed into, uh, the weapon or helm are the two most um, beneficial ones you can get. Because the weapon will just increase your damage no matter what class you're playing as. And the bonus experience socketed into your helmet will, you know, just increase your experience by a percentage. So 7% bonus experience, that's uh, pretty good for now. And then we'll be able to increase that even more uh, once we start... Or once we get the ability to combine our gems into better gems. So let's see, we're level 35, we need to be looking at level 30-ish, 5-ish-ish -ish gear. Yeah, level 27 already, yep, level 24. And there isn't really too much we get. That helps with our... Er from being that high level. Although that's pretty good. We'll uh, solve that. We'll see if we can't get it so that it increases every stat. Uh, salvage. We'll get there. Sure, we're gonna. No, because we don't have we don't have our our gem master yet. God damn it! I don't want sockets. God damn it, I don't want fucking sockets! Ah! First one was the best one. Damn it. Well, that was a waste. Let's look at weapons here. Level 30, level 26. I think we had a level 30 bow equipped the last time, but I don't know anymore. Let's take a look at quivers. Ooh, there's a level 30 quiver I can make. Shouldn't boost stats a bit. Man, this is starting to get annoying. Nope. Don't want that armor drop. Basically what I'm doing at this point is just re-rolling stats on, these, on this item every time. So I just keep doing it until I get the stats I want, but it looks like I'm not really getting anything, so... Damn, that was a waste. That was a big, fat, disgusting waste. And, let's see, here is the first time I may actually have a very good opportunity of dying. And I say opportunity, I don't want to die, but... Um, some of the bosses have grab attacks where they can grab you and then do a very large percentage of your damage. another one to cry over. Yours. Meet the Butcher. Shut up, bitch. No one likes you. Everybody thought you were stupid, because you're stupid. Fresh meat. I thought this was a weird first boss to have in this game.
because they can't there look he's already got me in a grab although it didn't do nearly as much damage as I expected it to which is good yes I can vault out of it very quickly Yeah, burn him. We're actually doing okay. Need more hatred to do that. This fucking light up floor shit is goddamn annoying. Oh no, we gotta get away. We're actually doing alright. Oh no, the floor is gonna light on fire. Wait. I fucking hate that, especially for characters like this that have to stand still. Man, that rain of arrows is great. Wow, we had no problems. And we have a legendary ring that we can equip. That's great. It's great! Actually, I think we got some stuff for our followers. Well, nope, I was wrong. Alright, so let's take a look at this legendary ring we have. We have to identify it for every character we get. Puzzle ring, which is actually a very good ring. However, we have really good stuff equipped already. 1192, 1283. We can dual fist it for a while. I mean... We can two-hand it for a while. I gotta stop talking about fisting on stream. It was bad enough Chimera Bukaki from the frickin' Resident Evil stream. Goddamn Tony. And Dave. Bastards! Okay. Go kill that guy. Or save that guy. I don't, I don't know or care anymore. I stopped caring so long ago, I just want to get through this. We actually took very, very little damage fighting that boss. Like, that boss seems to be more of like a skill check before you get into the, the second act. Because when you fight that boss, you, you have to stay constantly on the move. And I can see how you would put that in place to basically, like I said, skill check people who are playing the game. Uh, you know, kind of like noobishly, where they're just standing there hitting all their skills and they don't really know what they're doing and they don't know that staying mobile is part of the game. I remember now. I was an arc. So I guess that's an interesting way to kind of. It's a good gatekeeper, I guess. So just thematically, it's just like, oh, here's this random big ass demon when that when you should be fighting like Magda. All right, so we're going to talk to you, friend. boy. And, and now, I'm going to drink some I coffee. The warning I came to deliver. Belial and Asmodan, the last lords of hell, are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, Belial's shadow has fallen upon Chaldeum. I will stop at nothing to kill them, all of them, until their corpses are piled higher than the tallest towers. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. Mmm, coffee is so good. Let's talk about your dad, bro, and your daddy issues. He just has issues. He's just, they should have made him like a ginger Irish guy because he's got like... All the same issues as, you know, the the racist Irish stereotype. Daddy issues, wife issues, just family issues in general. He's probably got horrible drinking issues. Is it possible for a white person to be racist against another white person? Just before justice shoved me out the window, I saw my father crawling up the stairs at me. Two oh, that's fucked up, bro. I'm sorry for you. And the memory of it haunts your dreams even now. How did you know? 
I told you, blacksmith. We've all I like how someone. we're chit-chatting about his dad when it's like the actual lords of hell Time are coming to kill us friends. all. They're here. Now, eh, the we're just gonna is spreading not care. Oh, I've got a buff down there. It's we won't have to. um Magda and her coven. the little treasure chest thing. Apparently, I'm there's some community event going on this week where you get 100% experience and gold find, no less for him. which is cool but for me. It'll help me he level and help avenged. me stay alive a little longer, I guess. Then again, this game does a really good job, no matter what level you are, of kind of tuning the enemies to you. So that when you go through the game, you always have a little bit of a challenge. Never too much, but enough of a challenge. And now it's time to actually see one of those amazing friend, cinematics that I promised. Because we didn't get to see the first one. Oh, really? No cinematic? I wonder if it's because I've seen it before. Well, I guess I'm just a huge dick tease, and I apologize for being a huge dick tease. So here we are in the desert, and hooray for the fucking palette swap, seriously. Are. Chaldeum, Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of... Belial. I really like having the Lord desert God. area as the, the second I act in um, Diablo 2. Luko Lane was a really cool area to explore. Belial, uh, the I music was fantastic. I mean, I probably talked about it before, but holy shit, the music in that game versus this one... This game, the music is just there. The music in the previous game, you since they also didn't have as much you know, dialogue and everything like that, just had to be a billion times better. To so, the music was fucking fantastic, and it just felt so good to just explore out in the desert. With that soundtrack and with the skills and characters you had, it was a ton of fun. And the enemies were challenging for all the right and wrong reasons. Like, uh, there were these giant beetles that you would fight in, uh, in Luka Lane. Oh, we can talk to him for a while. There were these giant beetles you could fight in Luka Lane. And every time you would hit them, they would discharge lightning. So if you didn't have your lightning resistance high, you actually had an extremely difficult time fighting them because you would have to spend the entire time avoiding all the lightning that they got hit with. So if you had a character that did damage to like areas and you were damaging all of them at once like holy shit the entire screen was covered in lightning and you couldn't fucking do anything i don't know how i don't know how melee characters in that game could really do it i always tried playing melee characters and i always got my my shit pushed in at that point like that entire second act is a serious experience or a noob check i guess is a good word for it If you don't get it right, you're gonna die a lot. Why are all these refugees here? Why are all these refugees here? I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Commander of the Iron Wolves. We save these refugees from Magnus Coven. And even now, he's having the shit. All the way from New I can't do my Marmaduke voice throughout the entire thing. It's not fast enough. Marmaduke doesn't talk fast enough to be a Diablo character. That's why you blow up the dogs as your fucking witch doctor. And yes, I know that's super fucked up. Whatever. All of these people have fled from the cultists in our There's house. challenges you get for reading like all the dialogue things and getting all the the um, books and tomes and everything out in the world. It's actually a cool like it attaches to your Blizzard account and it's basically the Blizzard version, the Blizzard. It's Blizzard's version of achievements. So it's cool to have those in there. And I guess it's kind of cool to incentivize the challenge thing. The only problem I have with the challenge system in this game is you get points that don't count towards anything. You get all these damn... What's the word I'm looking for? Ooh, Irina, hey girl. You get you get all these challenge points for beating challenges in the game. And it's like the only thing you get them for is bragging rights. Which granted, that's like... Then achievement points in general and shit I like that, company. but, I mean... The fact that it only really applies to this game unless you have this link to your Blizzard account, which I do not, because I can't remember the password on it for the life of me. 